Isang mapagpalang gabi po sa inyong lahat. Good evening everyone. This is Brother Jonas and this is for our Lockdown to Look Up series. Your daily inspiration. A lot of people are already sleeping. Your daily inspiration amid the COVID-19 day. 483. 483 days of being together. Praise the Lord. And I'm so grateful because you're still here. You know, even if it's already almost midnight, I still want to push through with it. I want to share this burning message, okay? for everyone and every night we're trying to discuss something powerful and amazing and of course the most important thing that we are doing every night is we are encountering the lord we are live via our facebook page and also live via our youtube channel if you're watching via youtube please do click the subscribe button below and also please do share this video because maybe someone out there was you know waiting for this message okay just click the share button and maybe some of your friends might uh, catch it in your newsfeed thank you so much for your love and support and our topic for tonight is all about what to do while waiting yes because i waited for this internet connection for almost maybe four hours and i'm uh, i'm a little bit anxious because we need to do something for our day for tomorrow for our international conference so what to do while waiting and the bigger you know um, perspective there are things in our lives that are not easily granted. There are dreams in our lives that are, you know, seem to be delayed by the Lord. There are some unanswered prayer. There are things that we want, but then it's difficult for us to do. But here's what I learned, you know, if you wait the, the the more difficult the waiting time is, the more painful the waiting time is, the more challenging the waiting time is, the more is struggling the waiting time is, the sweeter the blessing. Like it's just so good to receive it. I experienced plenty of times in my life that I prayed for it for so long. And when it arrived, oh my gosh, the feeling was really, you know, I, I was really elated. But there are some as well that oh, I want to achieve it. It was easily given to me compared to that dream wherein I worked hard, wherein I almost gave up. It's actually different. It's different. That is why tonight this is such an amazing, amazing series. I will teach you ways for you to be at peace, for you to be still, for you to trust God, for you to learn things that you need to do while you are waiting, while the blessings are on its way, while the blessings are coming into you. What are the things that you need to do in order for you to receive when it comes? Because when it comes, because there were times in our lives wherein blessings are already coming and then we doubted. So that's why it's halted. So that's why I encourage everyone that if you believe in all your heart, that 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 God will <laughs> that God will really do something in your life, that God will answer your prayer, that God will give you the best version of your prayer during this. Uh, day three of our international summit, one message that caught my attention is that every prayer was answered. Every prayer will be answered. Any prayer that you will pray will be answered. That's from Pastor Elijah. But, but it's not sometimes. It is the way we expected it to be. The answer of our prayers are the version that we want. But there were plenty of times, there will be a lot of times wherein the answer of your prayers is not what you expected because it is God's version. And there will come a time wherein, you know, what you want to have to achieve will be the same with what God wants you. So it's like perfect harmony. What you want, this is my prayer, Lord. I want this specific details. And then God also want it. Okay, wants it also. And he gave you that specific detail of your prayer but there will be times wherein i really want this prayer and then god will give another one for example for example you read it in my book god says no i really want to become a um, an immigrant in canada that's what i want that's my prayer and it took me almost a year and a half maybe to pray for it no almost two years to work hard to try my luck in my ielts examination to try my very best, okay, to try my very best to qualify as an immigrant in Canada. But you know, God has a better plan for me. The answer to my prayer is actually to bring me, okay, home in the Philippines, to go home for good, and to do the things that I am doing now. Imagine for almost like, I'm, I'm home, okay, I, I went home last December 2019, and it's just almost two years. And if I look back for that two years, wow, it's such just an amazing journey. I fostered a lot of friendship, family actually, especially with my Write Your Legacy students. I had a lot of friends. 
and uh, also it happened also plenty of times where in I didn't expect that I was impacting lives of people, that I'm helping a lot of people. See, this prayer, it's one of my prayer, but it's not that much because my prayer was so, I was so eager to go to Canada. But God brought me home here in the Philippines because he has a better version of my prayer. And during those moments, I was waiting for his answer. I was patiently waiting for his answer. Our big message for tonight is this. Okay, this is so beautiful. I want to remind everyone, okay, I hope that you are still with me tonight. I want to remind everyone that we'll live in seasons. We'll live in seasons, okay? There is a perfect time for everything. There is a perfect time for everything, and you just need to be patient. You know, you just need to wait for it, okay? You just need to wait for it. You need to be patient because God is actually working. God is actually doing something in your life. And um, I, I want you. I want to remind everyone, okay? I want to remind everyone that God is always working behind the scene, okay? God is working behind the scene, and if He did it to me. If he did it in my life, I know that he will also do it in your life. Are you blessed tonight? Okay. I hope that you are blessed tonight. We are live in YouTube. Kindly check the link. It's there. Okay. And also live in our Facebook page. Please do uh, click the subscribe button on our Facebook, in our YouTube account. Thank you, everyone. So there is a perfect time for everything, but we need to do something in between. We need to do something in between. Okay. And, um, I, I, I want you to focus on what God can do in your life, what he can do in your life. Now, the bigger question is this. The bigger question is what to do in between. This is where you are currently at, and you want to achieve this, okay? You have a dreams for this. And what to do while you are waiting? Because it's not that I want it, and immediately you will get it. No, it won't happen. The question here is what to do in between, and that's our topic for tonight. Okay, I will teach you something while you are waiting. What are the things that you need to do? Amen. And uh, before I'll share with you our big message for tonight, let's pray a favorite prayer here. Can I request everyone to please close your eyes? I want you to feel the presence of the Lord. I want you to experience God right this very moment. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today, I receive all of God's love for me. Today, I open myself to the unbounded, limitless, overflowing abundance of God's universe. Today, I open myself to God's blessings, healing, and miracles. Today, I open myself to God's word so that I become more like Jesus. Every day, today, I proclaim that I am God's beloved. I am God's servant. I am God's powerful champion. And because I am blessed, I am blessing the world in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Then of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Can we give a clap offering to God? Praise God. Thank you so much, Lord. Our Bible verse for tonight is this from the book of James, <clears throat> chapter 5, verse 8, that says, You too be patient and stand firm because the Lord's coming is near. I mean, the blessing that God will give you is coming. Our Lord Jesus Christ, on a, like looking at the Bible verse, you know, Jesus will have his comeback. He will return. And uh, while we are waiting for him, and even for the blessings that he want to give us, while we are waiting for him, we need to be patient and we need to stand firm. Be patient and stand firm. I'm so excited tonight. Five things, five things for you. Number one, okay, you are waiting for our scenario is you're waiting for that prayer. I mean, you're waiting for your prayers to be answered. And what, and again, it's somehow somewhat delayed, okay? So what are the things that you need to do? What to do while waiting? The first one is to celebrate your season. Be grateful wherever you are. Be grateful for what you have. And, um, you know, life is a journey, not a destination. Again, I always share with my students, it's not about the launching date. Okay, the best part is actually the writing process while you are completing the process, going to the training, writing your first draft, editing, and then printing. The, the, the launching is just a culmination. That's not the best part. You celebrate where you are while you are working on it, while you are waiting for that blessings to come. You need to celebrate. Why? Because gratitude attracts more blessings. Our big problem here while we are waiting is that we complain a lot, that we are anxious, that we are irritated, that we fidget like... Oh my gosh, I'm I'm so frustrated now. Like you don't have I, I want you to extend your patience. Yeah, that's it. 
while celebrating your season, you need to be happy. Because you don't, you, you don't know what will happen next. Okay? So happiness will not only happen while you have the blessing. I repeat, huh? Exam example, you want to prosper your business. Now you are sad, you're irritated because your businesses, they are, you are bankrupt or they are not that much flourishing. And it's already two years and three years. And you always remind yourself that I will only be happy if I will hit my sales. I will only be happy if I will experience breakthroughs in my business. I will only be happy if I graduated with my PhD. I will only be happy if I will be promoted. That's not a good mindset. You wasted. Example, I will only be happy once I became a PhD degree holder. And then you took it for three years. So it means that you will not be happy in the along the process. Those three years, you won't celebrate something. No. While you are working on it, celebrate. Be happy. Be grateful. Celebrate your season. Okay? And um, happiness will not just come when you receive the blessing. But you need to be happy while you are working and waiting for that blessing. There will be seasons of waiting. There will be seasons of your summer. There will be seasons of fall. And there will be seasons of sharing. So it happens. It's a cycle. But you need to be grateful. Whatever seasons in your life, even if it's winter, even if it's summer, even if it's winter when everything is difficult, when everything is cold, when everything is not just growing. You need to celebrate during your spring when you are starting to get better. You're getting back up. Okay, you're working on it. You're on it. Okay, you're having a comeback. You need to celebrate whatever small achievements that you have in your spring. And of course, during your summer, you need to celebrate also the blessings, the full um, picture of your blessings, the full version of your blessings. And in the end, you need to celebrate during fall, the time that you need to give it all away, the time that you need to give up your, your uh, leaves and try to grow again, the time wherein you need to share your blessings, okay? Celebrate your blessings. You need to celebrate your uh, blessings. For example, yeah. Okay. That's number one. Okay, Celebrate your season. Be grateful wherever you are. Number two for tonight is this. You are waiting for that promotion. You are waiting for that business to flourish. You are waiting for that contract. You are waiting for, maybe you are waiting for that visa. Maybe you are waiting for that marriage. Number two is in between. What to do while waiting is to contemplate, is to reflect. Now, I'm a real and avid fan of soul searching. I'm an avid fan of going back to ourselves. I'm an avid fan of what I call inside job, wherein you need to dig deep on your heart's desires. You need to dig deep on what you really want. And sometimes contemplating and reflecting will allow you okay, to realize the weaknesses that you need to improve, that you need to strengthen, the lapses that you need to manage. And... Uh, like, you, you will only know, I mean, knowing yourself is one of the best virtues that you can do, one of the best things that you can do, okay? As much as it is good to learn from other people, to study things from other people, to study other people, as much as, as that's amazing, it's also amazing, it's greater, it's profound to study yourselves. So contemplate. While waiting, don't just be, don't just complain. While waiting, ask yourself, what are the things that I can improve, okay? What are the things that I need to modify? Because maybe something is wrong. Or maybe you go back to your motives. You go back to your motives. Because sometimes I believe that we are not that much aware that our motives are really different. There were moments before where in my motives was just about money. And I questioned God. And while I was waiting, God is not giving it to me. God didn't give me a million. I'm praying for a million, a five million, for example. God didn't give it to me. And you know what? During those moments, my desire was different. I want to have more money so that I can enjoy life. That's my desire. And, you know, when I contemplated, I learned that, oh, it's very different. It's far from what I, it's far from the, the values and the virtues I had. I always tell myself, you earn more, you, you, have, you receive more blessings, you work hard to have more blessings, but you need to share it to other people. You need to give it all away. Amen? So contemplate and reflect what you are waiting, what you can improve, okay? Now, that's number two. Number three is this, number three. Number three is such also an amazing step. While waiting, do something. Do something. You know what? When I was applying for Canada, when I want to become an immigrant there, I continued attending my Toastmasters. I enrolled in my book writing because 
if one of my dreams are not coming into reality, they're not coming into fruition, it doesn't mean that all or others or some of my dreams are not valid. I repeat, if one of your dreams are not coming true, if one of your dreams is delayed, is delayed, please know that other dreams, your other dreams are not also canceled. So that is why you need to work out. Check what are the things that I need to accomplish. I'm waiting for that call going to Canada. And I told myself, I want to become an author. Okay, that's one of my conditions. Okay, so I enrolled in book writing courses. And then I enrolled my Toastmasters International to hone my public speaking skills. And I also, you know, read a lot of books. I read a lot of books. And I achieve a lot of goals during my time of season. And sometimes it will even redirect you. When I already launched my book, when I already, when I became a champion in uh, Toastmasters International in public speaking, and I was waiting for that paper. So I was waiting uh, for that perfect moment to try again to take the IELTS examination. But I was reminded that, hey, maybe your calling is to go home in the Philippines. So, see, because I worked for some for other goals while I was waiting, I was even redirected to the things that God really wanted me to do. And that's just so profound. And I love it, realizing, thinking about those moments that I was so frustrated, thinking those moments that, God, I already did a lot. I reviewed, I gave my best. Why it's still failing? Why my exam is still failing? And uh, God knows better. He knows better. Okay? So, again, I want to remind everyone, while you are waiting, do something. Okay? Set small goals or set other goals aside from one thing that you are waiting for. Because it will make the journey happier. And, of course, it will make the journey exciting. That's number three for tonight. Number four, another thing is this. Okay? While uh, setting goals, while waiting also, you need to improve yourself. Maybe God is directing you. God is teaching you to do something. Maybe God is teaching you to improve yourself. And during those moments that I was waiting, I was trying my best to improve my, my maturity. Ah, that's one, one, one amazing thing, maturity. I told myself, during, during those waiting moments, I told myself, okay, if it, if it will come, then you will fail. Remind yourself that you will fail. Remind yourself that it is not perfect. Remind yourself that there will be disappointments. That, that's improving my maturity. Because I'm, I'm different from my 25-year-old self, 20-year-old self. I think one of my biggest issues before is about immaturity. Like I got angry easily. Like I had difficulty forgiving other people. Like if I fail and I no longer want to do it, I will be put to, I, I will be so much ashamed of myself. I really belittle myself whenever I fail in my goals. But God is so good because I improved that maturity while I was waiting for my big break. While I was waiting for that breakthrough, I'm improving myself. And all other technical skills, writing, I was waiting for my Canada, but I'm already learning how to manage a Facebook page, how to edit videos, how to manage my website, how to manage my YouTube channel, how to craft a workshop, how to create an online workshop. I was already doing all those things while I was waiting. And I'm grateful because, you know, I only realize now that all this stuff, I'm doing this even before pandemic. Even before pandemic, I'm doing an everyday blog. I'm writing on my website. I am also editing my videos. I'm posting contents. I'm already doing all this stuff. I actually had online workshop already even before pandemic. And God is so good. God is so good because he was actually preparing me for the big, big day, big breaks that I am doing now. That's number four. And last but not the least, another thing is, of course, this is so important. Okay, at the end of the day, while we are waiting, we need to praise the Lord. We need to glorify God. You need to honor God in whatever season you are because he knows better. I will not get tired informing, telling everyone that God knows better, that he knows better. He knows better. He knows what's going on. He is working behind the scene. Even if you cannot understand it this time, even if you question him a lot this time, even if you are frustrated this time just because you feel like God is sleeping, you feel like God is not uh, answering your prayers, I will still remind you that he is doing something. Sometimes he really works in mysterious ways. You don't know what's going on. You cannot see him working. But trust that even if you cannot see him, that even if you cannot feel him, that even if your goals are not really manifesting even a slight sign that somehow you are progressing in terms of your goals, 
please know that God is still working. Whether you, you see something, whether you see progress, whether you see improvement, whether you see some a bit of answers, whether you cannot see any answer at all with all your dreams, with all your goals, please know that God is still working behind the scene. Know that God is working so much day in and day out. And when he gives it to you, it's already perfected. Wait for that moment because God is honing. God is perfecting the situation. God is perfectly aligning opportunities, people, so that your dreams will come true in his perfect time. While you are waiting, never give up your faith. Because as for me, when I was waiting for my application in Saudi Arabia, I actually lost my faith. I gave, I gave up. And don't do that because it will your dreams will be delayed, okay? Because you need to cooperate with God. And cooperating with God is trusting Him. That's basic. Cooperating with the Lord is trusting Him. Again, even if you cannot see any sign that you are improving, that your dreams are coming true, you cannot see that the seeds are flourishing or growing, already sprouting, please trust the Lord. He is up, okay? For something and that's especially is especially dedicated for you okay thank you so much for being here because our internet connection was just restored okay an hour ago so five things to do while waiting celebrate your season be grateful wherever you are and whatever you do okay be grateful Tra praise god still number two is to contemplate and reflect you need to do a lot of inside job. You need to do a lot of recalibrating of your mindset, of changing your motives, of improving your intention, of uh, you know focusing on your heart, especially with related to your dreams. Contemplate and reflect. Number three is you need to do some things. There are other goals that that needs to be done. There are other goals that need to be worked upon, worked on. Okay, don't cancel other dreams just because one of your dreams is not coming true. Number four is improve yourself, prepare, prepare your maturity, the way you handle things, your psychological wallet, your technical skills, technical know-how, prepare yourself while you are waiting for that perfect moment. And the most crucial of all is trust that God is up to doing something. Amen. I want to pray for you. Can I request everyone to close your eyes and feel the presence of the Lord and of the Father and of the Son of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our dear and every loving God, we praise you. We glorify you. We lift your name higher and higher. We believe in you. We honor you tonight. Thank you, Lord, for this opportunity to worship you, to lift your name higher and higher. You are our Savior and we love you and we honor you and we adore you. Lord, words are not enough to let you know how much happy we are because of your presence in our lives because of the things that you are doing in our lives lord as we approach you tonight clean our hearts remove anything that is not pleasing to your eyes and we're allowing you lord god to change us to direct us and we thank you lord for the gift of forgiveness and for the gift of compassion and lord thank you so much for your big message tonight reminder that we should not be always anxious while we are waiting that we should trust you that we should improve ourselves that we should be grateful that we should celebrate celebrate our season. And Lord, I lift to you every person watching now. I don't know, Lord, what's going on in their lives, um, but some of them are crying, suffocated every night. Some of them are stressed, Lord God. You know the desires of their hearts. You know what's going on in their hearts, and I pray that you guide these people. And Lord God, I lift to you anyone suffering from mental health crisis. You are bigger than their depression. You are bigger than their suicidal ideation. You are bigger, Lord, than their panic attacks. And we declare healing, right? this very moment, healing them in their mental health crisis. Also, Lord God, we offer a special prayer for the family of these people. Continue to bless them, Lord God, their parents, their spouse, their siblings, their children. I pray that you'll become the center of their families. And Lord, we offer a special prayer for family members who are far away from each other. May your love binds them. Also, Lord God, we offer a special prayer of healing for those who are sick right now, especially those who are watching with cancer, afflicted by the COVID-19 with chronic diseases, those who are in the hospital, in Jesus' name, we claim healing. And we extend this healing prayer, Lord, to our family members, our friends, and relatives who are sick right now. We believe that you are the ultimate doctor and the greatest healer. And also, Lord, I also lift to you the finances of these people. I pray, Lord God, that you will provide 
we worship a God of abundance, a God of prosperity, and we know, Lord, that you will provide, especially those who are suffocated with their finances. Lord God, we trust you that you will do something. And uh, Lord God, I also lift to you the bread and butter of these people, their work. Continue to bless them, Lord God, in their organization, in their businesses, for those students who are studying. Continue to flourish them, Lord God. Thank you so much for the great and wondrous works that you are doing in their workplaces, in their bread and butter, in their businesses, in their studies. And Lord God, I also lift to you the dreams of these people, whatever dreams inside their hearts, maybe to work overseas, maybe to go back home in the Philippines for good, maybe to write a book, maybe to get married, maybe to build a church, maybe to have a baby for our childless couples, maybe to be promoted, maybe to start a business, maybe to improve their businesses, but whatever prayers and dreams in their hearts, Lord God, purify it and make it holy and we know, Lord, that in your most perfect time, the best version of your prayers will be delivered to these people. And Lord God, as one community, we pray for this pandemic. We will never be shaken, Lord. We know that one day this world, this earth will become COVID-free and we trust you, Lord God. We believe that you are doing something. And lastly, Lord God, we just want to honor you right now. We just want to storm the heaven with praises and thanksgiving. We celebrate this life, your biggest gift today, our biggest blessing for today is the gift of life and we thank you lord we honor you and uh, all the blessings that we received today came from you we thank you also for the success of our first international author summit lord god thank you so much for all the provisions and for all our speakers and attendees continue to guide and bless each and every one of us and all the blessings that we received today came from you and so tonight we just want to bring back to you all the glory and honor to the most powerful name of your son jesus christ amen and amen in the name of the father and of the son of the holy spirit Amen. Can you give a clap offering to God? Yes, 11.20 p.m. I'm so sorry. Okay. Restored. Kaka-restore lang ng PLDT. Has in. Anyway, big blessing from Nanay Ninita watching from Bacolod. Parang gusto ko ng Bacolod chicken in asal. Nanay Ninita, maraming salamat po. Yet Renegado, congratulations. Sana all bumab. <laughs> Saan nyo natututunan yung mga yan yet? <laughs> Kayo talaga. Huwag kayong masyadong humuhugot. Nako. And blessed Thursday night, everyone. Maraming maraming salamat po. Marife, kabawatan ka. Ito hindi makakatulog pag walang lockdown eh. Yay, tuloy ang series. Gandang gabi po. Sana na-bless ka tonight. At, li- at least, coach, binalikan ka this time. Tignan niyo itong mga ito. Saan niyo nakuha mga yan? Ba't puro hugot kayo? Gabing-gabi na. Behave na. And uh, Julius Martinez, blessed evening to everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Mylene Pagtama Moreno is watching with five hearts. Napakadami nito. Okay? <laughs> Appreciate it. Oi, very may Rafael Rigor from Neve see our author there, patiently waiting for your manuscript. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in. We miss you already. Ingat ka lagi dyan. Vera May. And we have also author Rolit Tumak. Wow, we're sleepy finishing something, but it flashed. Praise God. Bless <laughs> anything to him. Maraming salamat, author or recipient of God's favor. Mag-rest ka na. Pasensya na talaga. Hindi, ko rin, hindi, hindi rin ako makakatulog pag di ko ito matatapos. So at least we, I have my 483 day. That's amazing. Author Melanie is watching. Yes, coach. God is good. Salamat po. All the time. Thank you. And that's it for tonight. Medyo late na magpahinga na kayong lahat. I want to say thank you. Sa lahat ng support at pagmamahal, this is my declaration. Sana ulanin kayo ng walang katapusang biyaya at pagpapala. Okay? And I'm grateful. Sana bagyuhin kayo ng siksik, liglig at umaapaw na biyaya. And I'm grateful for the love, trust, and support. And let's nourish our spirit and join hands in prayer that this COVID-19 pandemic will soon end. To God be the greatest glory. Good night. God bless po. See you tomorrow sa fourth day na international summit natin. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm.